How's it going, Yankee fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, I look at Mustache. Yankees fans, let's grade the Yankees 12 games into the season. If you heard one of my podcasts about two months ago, I said that I wasn't a huge fan of Brian Cashman, Hal Steinbrenner, whatever, the Yankees organization, experimenting when it comes to starting pitching. The Achilles heel when it comes to this organization, the Yankees could never get it right when it comes to starting pitching. Obviously, they did with Garrett Cole, a move that the Yankees needed to make nonetheless, but they could never pair an ace with, let's say, another potential ace, another Garrett Cole type of pitcher. They're always experimenting. These experiments have caused the Yankees to be last place in the AL East. It's still early in the season, but there's bad signs when it comes to starting pitching, lack of scoring runs sometimes, etc. You know, I'm not a big, huge fan of Matt Blake. You know, I'm going to repeat this again. It's early in the season. So I'm going to wait till the middle of, let's say, May to really give my opinions on what's happening with this ball club because, it's, like I said, it's early in the season and they could easily turn it around. But mentioning my earlier podcast, like I said two months ago, I said not to sleep on the Boston Red Sox. Alex Cora is back, and as you can see, they're first place in the AL East. Don't sleep on any of these teams. People really want to blame Hal Steinbrenner and Brian Cashman for, let's say, not spending money, not going out there and trading for, again, as I mentioned, uh, ace caliber picture behind Cole. And I'll say they're right about that, but the person that's flying under the radar the most, in my opinion, is Matt Blake, the pitching coach of the New York Yankees. There was an article that I read around uh, October where it stated that uh, Major League Baseball scout, it said MLB scout destroys pitching coach Matt Blake. And then it went on to say, the question was, what specifically did you notice about Blake? The scout said he has no gravitas. As a person, when he goes out there, he looks fearful and scared of the moment, which isn't a surprise because he was coaching in high school a couple of years ago. It's easy to read his body language just from watching on TV and the lack of respect or attention that the Yankees pictures even paid to Blake. It got to where it seemed like the Yankees didn't make many trips unless it was Boone going out to make a pitching change. I think having a real pitching coach would help them get better. And again, I'm not trying to start the Matt Blake hate train. Like I said, I'm going to give them till the middle of May. Then I'm going to make another ex assessment of Blake. I have done it repeatedly in the past, last season, but people kind of ignored it because of the length of games that were played last season due to the pandemic. Offensively, I'm not too concerned. We saw two home runs from Aaron Judge uh, this afternoon, which is a good sign. Like I said, I'm not worried offensively. I think the Odor trade, he was a good pickup. He has a lot of uh, fiery aspects to his game. Uh, Bruce is just Bruce. Bruce is just there because Voight got injured. He's just there for the time being. He's not going to be on this ball club for much longer. I think the Yankees should call up uh, Gittens, who is a phenomenal player in my opinion. Power hitter, uh, been in the minors for quite some time now. And I think it's his time now. But what use is offense when your starting pitching is taking you out of the ball game early? Momentum is shifting to the opposing teams. Like I said, these experiments when it comes to Tyon, Kluber, etc. You know, the Yankees thought they hit the jackpot. But, you know, assessing the Yankees in recent years when it comes to starting pitching, I just knew that it was just bad news. And like I said, I'm going to make my real assessment in the middle of May. And I hate to tell you this, guys, but... I do not feel confident in this starting rotation. Garrett Cole is amazing, you know. But as of right now, long term, I do not feel confident in this starting rotation. Like I said, when you have pesky teams like the Boston Red Sox, Rays, Blue Jays, etc. Especially up there in Boston where they got Alex Cora back and they have won eight straight games. They have momentum now. And the Yankees do not because their starting rotation, their starting pitching is taking them out of games early. 
So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Uh, 12 games into the season. Where do you grade this Yankees team? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.